Nobody remembers anything. Not when the world changed. Nor why. A mysterious dust poisoned the surface, affecting the brains of humans and stealing their memories. Strange apparitions began to appear. Humans fled their devastated cities. Only underground could humans escape the demons and the dust. gave something new. The ability to transform their will into energy. This will breed. The espers risk their lives searching the surface world for clues. on the surface that might let us recover the memories we've lost.
Finally woken up, I see. Were you the one that brought us here? <laughs> Why don't you tell us what happened? You've no memory at all, is that right? Just an image of some ancient ruins. And a strange gut feeling that you have to go there. I... But how did you know that? Everybody's the same, all of us. Now you. Please, follow me. I'll explain everything once we arrive. Just like I told you. None of us remembers anything. We live in this world we don't understand, with people without memories wandering around, with monsters roaming the surface and these strange particles and paranormal skills. I see. This place is like the lost and found counter at a catastrophe discount store. So, we lost sheep with no memory. Just like you. There is one difference. The two of you were found in strange metal pods. But Leader says we are all lost souls. All we have left is this underground world and our scraps of memories and the image of the ruins in our heads. Ruins. The image I saw in my dream. Leader says that the fact we all share the same image must be more than mere coincidence. He's right, I think, and so we are systematically searching the surface world for the ruins. We hope you can help with that search as well. Are you saying you want us to join the Visions? We are very short-handed, especially when it comes to people with skills. <laughs> but I am haunted by the ruins. Now give it some thought. <laughs> ah! ah. Such a generous man is our leader. Leader says, Edgar, take your time. You don't mind us calling you Edgar, do you? We saw your locket, too. You care about the woman in the photograph, don't you? 
Perhaps helping us will lead you to find her. And you. We should find a name for you as well. You need a name even if you don't have memories. Just pick a name that sounds good to you and we'll call you that. Everyone picks their names here. Or perhaps you're one of the lucky ones who remembers his real name.
Take a look around. Use the right thumbstick to move the camera. Click the right thumbstick to center the camera again. The flashing bar in the upper left corner is your health meter. When your health reaches zero, you fail the mission. The flashing number in the lower right corner is your energy level, called Aura. Each skill requires a certain amount of Aura to use. The number below your Aura number is your level, which reflects the number of Aura particles you've picked up. You lose some aura when you use a skill, but it regenerates up to this level over time. Some attacks are best avoided by moving out of the way. Click the left thumbstick to jump. Show Meister your jump. trigger. This will lock you onto the target. You have successfully locked onto the enemy, the Omada. You cannot move the camera while you are locked onto an enemy. To deactivate your target lock, pull the right trigger again. Use the left thumbstick to move to the skill capsule. Stand next to a capsule to view a panel of information about the skill. When the information panel appears, press any button, A, B, X, or Y, to assign the skill to that button. You have captured Bullet of Fire. Attack the Amato with the Bullet of Fire. You need two aura each time you use it. Bullet of Fire is a medium range attack. It's most accurate when the targeting reticle is yellow.
trigger to lock onto the Amada. You successfully locked onto the Amada. a skill to a button that already has a that this skill can be used only once
trigger to engage target lock. Skill. Your aura will regenerate over time. 